there's a huge amount of energy in water waves. When a storm crashes against the coast in the winter, those waves can drive a huge amount of erosion. In a similar way, we can use those water waves for renewable energy, to drive uh, our own homes, cars, cities. But there's a more fun application. We can use the energy in waves to drive our own forward velocity, our own kinetic energy, when we're surfing. So the question is, can we harness the energy in the wave field that you produce on our flat body of water, like the river cam, to drive your own forward motion? And this is a problem called gunnel bobbing. So this is a problem that uh, Graham Benham, Olivia de Vachelle, Stephen Morris and I have looked at. And it all started uh, on summer holiday on Muldrew Lake, north of Toronto in Canada. So with my family, we were playing around on paddle boards, on canoes, and it turns out that if you jump on the back of a paddleboard or you jump on the back of a canoe, you generate your own wave field. And if you jump at the right frequency, you can drive your own forward velocity up to meter per second. So how does this work? Well, if you take a duck or a boat that's swimming or moving through the water, you'll notice that that duck or the boat generates its own wave field. And that wave field carries energy from the swimming duck or the motorized boat or the canoe off into the distance. Some of that energy you can use uh, to drive your own forward velocity. Let's think for a second about how a wave field works. If we just took a boat and we bobbed it up and down, so a heaving motion, we would generate a symmetric wave field that would spread off in either direction in an identical fashion. And that wave field would radiate energy, but it wouldn't drive your forward velocity. Similarly, if you did a seesawing motion, a pitching motion, you would also generate a symmetric wave field, and it's also not going to drive your forward velocity. What you really need is both a heaving and a pitching motion. By combining a heaving motion and a pitching motion, you can arrange to push down on the slope of your last wave, just like a surfer. You're pushing down on the slope of the wave and you're surfing it forwards. So as we see in this picture from the top of Trinity Bridge, as you jump on the back of a canoe, you send a wave field predominantly laterally. And by jumping on top of your old wave, you're able to surf it forwards at meter per second velocity. Now you might ask, how do we apply this theory? Well, for most boats, you're not driving your forward motion by jumping on the, the back of the boat to generate a wave field. But as you're paddling, you are getting some up and down motion and you are generating your own wave. So the question is, for Olympic canoeists, for rowers, are they able to harness that wave field, that energy in the wave that they're shedding behind them to gain one, 3% extra efficiency to go that little bit faster? 